that's a good feeling when you can find something that you have lost, right? It's, it's an amazing feeling. Um, I'm sure most of us, uh, maybe all of us, have lost something at some point in time. I've lost uh, many things in life. Uh, lost opportunities. I lost my wallet one day while I was in the grocery uh, with everything in it. And I went back and um, I told the manager, I, I knew the guy who was behind me. And he said, I can't look at the tapes, I can't do anything, they have to open a case. And I, I felt bad because I couldn't retrieve my wallet. Uh, I lost my phone one day while I was on a job. And a brand new phone, about 800 bucks. And somebody came to look at the property while I was working on. And I had my phone sat down there and I was working in the room and the guy said, can I come in? And I said, sure. I forgot that I had left my phone, you know, I didn't have it on me. And something strange happened. The guy just came in and he was, he had already snatched my phone by the time I came out to the living room. And he was very busy to leave. And I was amazed. And he just ran back to his car. And then it dawned on me that he took out my phone. I never got it back. Anyhow, this story I'm about to tell you is a true story. It happened a couple of weeks ago. This, this man and his wife were driving on the street. And uh, all of a sudden, they saw some things flying on the streets, like paper flying on the streets. Um, like small pieces of, you know, nicely folded paper. Yeah. And the wife said to the husband, it looks like money. And he said, no, that's just monopoly money. Who would just throw money on the streets? And uh, she said to him, why don't you turn back and go and check on it? And uh, uh, reluctantly, he did turn back. And sure enough, when he approached, uh, uh, the paper was still flying. And they pulled up uh, on the medium, and he came out and he, he looked at it and it was money. So he picked up some money, some dollars, some 20, 50s. And, uh, and he also found a wallet with the ID, uh, the person who had apparently lost it or dropped it, however it got there. And they decided to, you know, to make a turn and they swing back. And, and uh, there was another note on his side, uh, on, on her side of the street, and he stopped. And she picked it up, and it was a hundred dollar bill. And there were other people that stopped, and they were also picking up money. And that day was her birthday. And, and, and she said to them, she said, uh, you know, today's my lucky day, my birthday day. <laughs> and she, she said to her husband, can I keep it? And he said, sure, it's your birthday. You deserve it. And, uh, but something uh, began to dawn on them. And it bothered them. How can they keep it? Because they found a wallet with the person's ID. So they pulled up after they retrieved all that they could have gotten back. And they pulled up on the side and they looked at the, the wallet with the ID and they also found a number. So they called the number. Uh, because there was an address and a phone number uh, with a guy's ID and someone on the other end answered the phone and it was his daughter and she was so excited of what happened. How did he get his number? And he explained to his daughter that we have found a, a, a wallet that belonged to the name and she said, that's my dad. Apparently something happened that uh, the wallet was there. Mm -hmm. And they said, uh, they, they said, oh, we have some monies, all that we could have gotten. And we have the wallet, and can you come and pick it up? And she was excited to come and pick it up. And the couple said, well, we don't know what happened. We can't really wait at this spot. They said to go to the police station. It's a safer place. What do you think? So if there's any uh, misunderstanding at least, there will be a police over there. So they drove to the police station and they explained to the officer who was in the parking lot what had happened before this wallet with monies and all the monies that they found were in the wallet. And um, in a few minutes, then the lady drove up 
and she showed her ID. And uh, the ID and the, the wallet match the names. And she explained to the officer that that's her dad. And when she opened the wallet, she saw all this money in the wallet. And she said to the officer, I wish the person was here so I could thank it. But the, the couple was waiting in the parking lot inside the car. The, the officer said, they are right in the car. You can thank them. And she took out a $20 bill and she gave it to them. And they were so excited. And she said to the officer, they are still honest people in the place and she was just amazed. And, and that was a good thing. Now, after the couple left, they decided to drive back in the streets to see if they found any more money, if they can find any more money. And they said, if whatever they find now, it belongs to them because they already did a good deal. <laughs> but you know how much money they found? We did not find anything. All we got was the $20. But that was a blessing, amen? amen? I wish I could have found my wallet when I lost it or my phone. But sometimes we, we lose things that we will not find it back. But you know what Jesus says? If we lose our life for his sake, we will find it again. And that's the greatest gift that we can receive. Amen. The gift of eternal life. <coughs> So whatever happens in this life, it will pass. But if we lose our life, the most important thing, for the cause of Christ, we will live again. Amen. And that's the good news. Amen. 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 May God bless us and keep us safe. Who wants to pray for us? Okay. Two prayers. Let's close up.